With the latest from news for Jackson.com, I'm Joy Purdy. A big update on the coronavirus vaccine in Jacksonville. Starting Tuesday, the federal site at Gateway will start administering first doses of Pfizer again. Currently, the site only offers second doses. The new decision was made because it can't offer Johnson & Johnson anymore while it's on hold. Plans are still on for the site to close May 26th. A joint meeting between the Jacksonville City Council and the Duval County School Board screeched to a halt. Audience members began shouting at the elected officials. This was during a discussion about the school name changes. City Council unanimously passed a resolution urging DCPS to change the names of six public schools that are currently named after Confederate soldiers. An update now on two deadly shootings nationwide in San Antonio, Texas. Two people are dead, two injured, including a police officer after a traffic stop. The police chief says the officer made the stop and had what appeared to be a casual conversation with the truck driver. But the chief says the driver then shot the officer, striking him in the hand and in the radio. The officer then retreated backwards while shooting into the vehicle. All three people in the truck were shot. Two of them died. And an investigation is now underway in Indianapolis, where police say at least eight people are dead after a shooting at a FedEx facility. The shooter is dead as well. This is now the nation's deadliest shooting since 10 people were killed at a Colorado grocery store last month. You can always find the latest news on newsforjax.com. Have a great afternoon.